What's up everyone? Today is a day that I'm going to talk about my six favorite artists and write a lot about them because like not all the artists are like everything, you know? But I would say that some things that we have to take from it, like you don't have to like everything on the art of some artists, but you can for sure say that you like something on the artist that makes you think you want to do that, that thing on the way that the artists do. And I would like to start with a guy that I, I love the way he does hair, that's like George, George, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I love about him is the way he does hair, like it's so perfect. He uses geometrical shapes to describe the hair and it's so natural, you know, it's so much believable. But when we're talking about art, doesn't matter what what, what kind of, of way you, you use it, it, what matters the most is you make the, that universe that you created on that screen believable. And I think he makes that so much well. And, and that's why he, he is one of my favorite artists. Well, second one, he, he really, really famous. His name is Sam Dazar. I think his name is Sam, but I'm not sure about it. And what I love about Sam is not particularly his art, but mostly I love the way he he makes viral stuff. Like, he makes art that that everyone wants to share it and share with a friend and everyone it, it's so it's so easy to consume like you don't have to to spend much time to understand what is happening on the scene he also used this this stylized look okay that a bit looks like disney princess and of course he has a lot of techno technical knowledge and paint and stylization he's a such good professional and I think he's, he's one of the third artists too. Well, the third one, it will be Mark Brew. Well, I think he he's such a master in anatomy stuff. I mean, he's, he, he basically can draw any, any character from any position. I think that's one thing that everyone will achieve, you know? He like he has a lot of techno knowledge in, in classical anatomy and stuff like that. And he's so much good at this that he makes so much good makes so much anatomy stuff and what he wants of my favorite artists on the sense. Well next one we have Six designs, six Nix designs. I don't know why, but every time I I'm gonna read it, the remember six design Nix Nix design. I always like remember Nix six. And but anyways, I what I love about Nix six six design Nix Nix design is the way he brings the skin. Like he uses all this pigmental thing, you know. He just do such a lived color, use this pigmentation of colors and everything to make everything more believable, more realistic. He also has a YouTube channel. Oh, I don't forget. And the last one will be Devonny Elkarts. And then it's so hard to, to remember me so big. Well, basically what I love about her is the storytelling that she creates on her on her stories, on her pieces. Every every art that she made is like with a with a good with a good storytelling behind like you have a lot of art that just just has a history you know like you can see that something is happening there and it has a story on the background that's what I love about her of course she has a beautiful art but what I love the most is the storytelling that she creates on her pieces well 
just to add some more, I would say that I like, also like Edgar Josh. Edgar Josh is basically my inspiration to this channel. Um, when I create this channel, I, I basically think about him. I think he's such an amazing content creator on YouTube. Um, the business side of art, I think I love. I love. Ross draws. Yeah, I think he's such an amazing person on this, on this side of the business. No, he's so good at this. He also was like a far beyond the toy artist. So good to see that that an artist can be achieved like what Ross draws achieved, like the businessman that he is. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like it and share it.